Okay, here we go. A dungeon crawler game where each character has only one ability. They are able to use the ability. Wait a second. <laughs> Wasn't this on the Mark stream just now? <laughs> Am I going to break it the same way that Mark has broken it? You can only pick one. Oh, so here we go. So we've got recruit. So we can do doors slash things. Unlock doors slash things. I'm going to go with unlock doors. Because I think Mark went with the other one. How do we... Ah, there we go. Oh, and our music started. Oh, and then we've got to use this. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> you guys have been waiting here for a while. Oh. Right, here we go. So, we can't use anything happy, so we're going to have to just use this. We only use it once. I mean, that we, what we've got to do is go through here, all the way up here, around. To be fair, I wasn't really watching what Mark did in his stream, so I'm just going to kind of go with it. <laughs> okay, and because he went with jump, I'm going to go with uh, fire. <laughs> And this, this spreads. Oh, I like the fire effect. Oh, wait. So, because I ha have seen this game be played, I wasn't particularly paying attention to it because I kind of had my own uh, thought process at the time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of take I'm gonna take. Well, I'm gonna take what I did see into account when I'm doing my score now. Uh, oh, so you now have put doors in. So now we want to do freeze anything. So is this this is this is this different? Oh, oh dear. So is this different from what we saw before? Okay, so you're gonna do one. The solution to this one is to set the fire on and then grab the key and then jump down here. Unlock it. it yeah, if you could, because obviously I, I, I would like to have people who are in the stream um, understand. Second, Pike Man. Oh, Spike Man is like a bigger slash person. Oh, different doors take different rooms. Interesting. Wait, so where am I now? Am I at the start? No, <laughs> this is not the start. Um, but so. Hmm. One moment. Oh no, did I just I didn't use it? Oh good, I didn't use it. Uh wow, I faced it. Okay, um because you said that I this has different rooms, I'm actually gonna play it one more time. I wanna see it from another perspective if I can. So we did doors before, so let's do slash things. So is this actually, can you slash doors? Oh, right, no. Oh, my bad. So, possibly enemies drop keys if you attack them. Maybe that's what the answer is. 
Aim and defeat door unlocked. Can I walk through them still? No. But... Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to try this again. Oh. I need to, can't be on the side, can I? I keep looking at over the side of the screen to see what you're saying, and it's almost making me think I probably shouldn't be doing that because it kind of is influencing my be <laughs> my choice on design. Um, let's have a look. So this was a slash door. We'll try it with this one. Now we'll uh, we'll slash, then we'll then we'll jump. So as we've already got a slash things person, we'll take a move thing stuff. And because they did a different, because they took didn't route, I'm going to use this route. I can shoot arrows or burn. I guess we'll take the shoot arrows. Too high up. Uh, the, the pseudo 3D is a little bit off putting. Oh, do not want to press that button? Hey, I kit you. I right, press the button again. I'm feeling like the significance. Well, okay, that's not open. the significance of the blue skulls are. The blue skulls have nothing to do with it, so the blue skulls are not the correct ones. But we know we can hit two things at once. So let's see if we can. Ah, I'm getting things all over the place. Go away. So if I stand here, and I wait for just the right moment. No, blast. Wait a minute, hang on. Okay, no. I just wanted to... Uh, I want to see whether I could um, jump over the wall. Whether or not you'd actually thought about that bug. Oh, well. So it's either going to come passing by me in this direction, it's going to pass past me in this direction. Ah! Oh, it bounced away, I'm meanie.
Okay, well that nearly got it. So what I'm, I think I think I know what I'm doing now. Right. So now we're going to go to the arrow person. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Thinking about this now. Yeah, the the, the floor if, having a, having a slight grid or a tile set on the floor probably would help a lot. Just think. I'm gonna give you four stars on design. So the reason for this is is because I you have. You had a really complicated rule set, and you almost got it working really nicely. You you had it in such a way, so because you so I mean I was just reading the comments. So you have exits, and depends on the exit you go out, actually then has your the, the direction you're going to go in, and and because you know which exit they've gone out of because of which combination they've had, kind of, the rogue makes things really weird because of how where they are. Um, you kind of know what, what they're going to do in advance, except for the fact that because the rogue is there, it kind of throws everything out the window and you can pick the wrong choices. And because you can pick the wrong choices, it means that there it was a bit too ambitious for the 48-hour challenge and there are flaws that are there, but it's almost... That said, I'd say it's almost there. No, yeah, it, Five stars does not mean perfect. Five stars means that you did really, you did phenomenally for what you did in the time. And I think you've, for the most part, this thing is really solid. And here is the theme. Only one recruit. Oh. I'm going to give you three stars on that because you're, you're stretching that a little bit. You're saying only one recruit. And yet you can pick only one of the two choices. But I'd say it's stretching it a little bit because your whole point is that you're building your thing. So, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say three stars not on here as the theme. Originality though, yeah, you get five stars for originality. So, yeah, I'm gonna give that that duration. Yeah, where am I 